Hey, sweet friends, today we are making some summertime lemon decor. This is part one of two videos. Today is the What Would You Make Open Invite. This is OK at Home DIY, and I am Zaina. This is just involving some scrap boards I had in my garage. So this scrap board is a one by 12, and I cut it to 14 inches long. Well, I didn't cut it. It's actually just cut that way when I found it. And of course, I'm staining it my favorite way with that raw umber paint from Hippie Crafter. Now, this second board is a one by eight, and it's cut to 18 inches long. So I'm going to make them into some fun lemon decor. And I wanted to frame out the edges. So it looked kind of like this piece was framed. So I went ahead and just put some masking tape around the edges and coming in with some white chalk paint. Now this chalk paint I'm using is the first time I'm using the Deco Art and it's not a very pigmented white like the Waverly chalk paint. So I had to use a couple coats. So this is that was the first coat. That's this is the second coat. I'm just going to go ahead and take off that masking tape. And I picked up these beautiful lemon napkins at Dollar General. So this set was $2 and then this set is a dollar. And you don't get the whole napkin on the square ones. You just get that front section. I went ahead and cut those lemons out and the leaves. And I am now just going to place them on there how I like them. Coming back in with my pencil, I'm drawing a line so then I can create the vine to connect all the lemons. Something I did realize after I took my lemons off my page here is uh, you kind of want to skip if you're going to put the lemon over the vine. So I'm coming in to create the vine with some sherbet, uh, like lime green color from Apple Barrel, but I realized I'm not a very good line painter period so hippie crafter sent me some awesome markers and i was able to find a color that would match the leaves so i came back in and traced out that line i made with the paintbrush because it was not very pretty <laughs> and then actually kind of made it look like a line that was two-toned there uh, a vine not just a line okay so coming back in with some mod podge and mod podging my napkins down so when I cut out my napkins I always have I always have straight edges or whatever they're called um, I don't do the water tearing method so I I think this turned out really well I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. I'm just saying that's, I just don't feel like I could get the lemon shape very well with the other method. And so it turned out well. So Mod Podged everything down. And I also made sure that ply on the back was taken off because all of these are two ply. And also if the leaves are not the shape you want, I just cut mine down to fit the space. And I thought they looked quite neat. I cover the whole thing at the very end in Mod Podge, just the white space. So the second one, I learned a few tricks. First, I'm going to sand it. Next, I place my lemons down and then I am going to trace out the vine because I don't want my lemons to go over the vine because it will be seen. So here I am just placing them out. I also just put them to the side in order as they go. Next, doing the Hippie Crafter paint markers with these paint markers you do want to just shake them about 10 times and then prime them i just felt so blessed because this color matched my leaves perfectly both of the colors did really so i just went ahead and drew out the line with one color and then kind of did another line i tried to trace it out and do kind of the same thing in the beginning once it was dry i went back in with the sand sanding paper and then, of course, you know, the rest is history, Mod Podging the rest of those lemons on. These lemons have the leaves detached, so I come back in at the end and I just go ahead and place some leaves. I knew I couldn't paint anything that looked like a lemon, and I really wanted some lemon decor. So, here's how they turned out. I 
am excited. If you like to make wood DIYs or decorate your home in wood decor, this playlist is for you down in the description box. There are creators who have joined this playlist with a lot of inspiration for you to create wood DIYs. I host this every month with my friend Connie over at Connie's Creative Creations. Go check her out if you don't know her. And our sweet, super wonderful guest host, is Leany from Crafty Leany. So these ladies' channels will be linked in my description box below as well as the playlist. Go check them out, go give them some love. So this lemon napkin I picked up at Tuesday mornings and I'm really gonna focus on just the lemon but I'm actually using the whole napkin in this one so using two wood houses these I cut out for an earlier project and just had them in my stash painted white the top of the roof is like a 45 degree angle I think um so just mod podging the lemon to the top of the roof here and then I will come through once that's on I actually was able to just kind of like rub it with my thumb and get that excess napkin off the roof so that was pretty cool I did do the tear method on this one I I, I don't think I really needed to I could have just done the um cutting method and it would have been fine too I don't know where the footage went, but I ended up actually sanding that down uh, really well on the top to kind of make it look a little distressed or vintage. Next, I'm coming in and I'm gluing this little plastic or uh, lemon slice on the front. My sweet friend from Happiness Created sent that to me in a box a long time ago, and I finally am able to get to use it. Now, to finish off this sweet little lemon house, I'm just going to put that yellow scalloped edge on the top and on the bottom i do not have footage of gluing it down so this is what i did i just mod podged it down on the top and then on the bottom i actually don't have footage of gluing it down on the bottom so next the second house is super simple all i'm doing is taking my house that i have painted white and coating it with mod podge and then coming on in with that one napkin that has lemon all over it and making sure my lemons are centered and squared on there pushing out any of the bubbles and this worked really well because I really made sure my Mod Podge was thin and it wasn't really um, heavy in spots and thin than others so thin all over I did was able to roll it out too and it, it didn't rip so these napkins are pretty sturdy to work with and then, of course, take my sandpaper to get my nice crisp edges. I feel like if I cut it out with scissors, I would have overlap and it just wouldn't look as pretty or as form fitted. This is such a super easy, quick lemon decor, and I think it's bold and it just is so sunny and bright. So anyways, finishing that up and that one is done. And here's how they turned out. Okay, I might be stretching your creativity a little bit on this one. So I'm taking the lemons from the lemon napkin and little egg wood cutouts from Dollar Tree. And I am mod podging the egg first and then I'm finding kind of like a whole lemon and I put it where the small point is pointing down because I was thinking like it, eggs, this could look like a lemon if the, the egg thing is pointing down so you're not just seeing the smaller end up that would look like an egg so um anyways and so I tried to find spots on the napkin that had whole lemons or lemon leaves to cover the eggs once that was dry I came in with my sandpaper and just uh, got the edges and the excess off made sure all the the um bubbles were out so i was actually handling these napkins with my own hands and they they were they 
they didn't rip. So I think they're pretty sturdy napkins. So when I finish all that up, I go ahead and come back in with Mod Podge and then I will let that dry. I just thought using the egg shape would help us bridge from Easter into summer and we might already have them all in our stash. So here's how they look so far with the lemon. So hopefully you're getting the lemon vibe and not the egg vibe. Next I'm coming in with my Sharpie marker. This is a thin or fine point and I'm just writing out summer. I tried to do kind of like a fun font. Uh, I don't think my my normal writing is very fun. And so after that's done, I actually had a wood block that had a, a groove in it. And I think it kind of looks like a rustic kind of form of a Scrabble letter holder. So these are kind of like my Scrabble pieces spelling out summer. That's it for my lemon decor part one video. I also wanted to say happy birthday, Liz. Hope you have a fantastic day. Make sure you go check out that What Would You Make playlist in the description box below. I would love to have you like and subscribe if you are new here because I love to make home DIYs on a budget because I believe a beautiful home shouldn't have to break the bank. And until the next time, everyone, you have a good one. Bye.